Yo guys, welcome back to another YouTube video. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to do animation inside of Blender. So if you completely do animation and have never done it before, this is the guide for you. Yo guys, so here we are in Blender. All you have to do is just select your rig. So this is the rig that I have. If you want to know how to rig in Blender, I have a tutorial should be up here. Um, if i'm correct and then i also have a video on how i created this character i just removed some parts so it's just easier for animating um but yeah so so you can select your rig and then go to this little tab over here this is the armature settings so what you can do is go to viewport display and do in front so that you can see the whole rig like this so we have our rig so we can actually see it now and you can also see that you have all these diff these different weird uh, shapes like this, uh, like triangle, stretch triangle, whatever. So if you want to change that, that's the octahedral as well in viewport display. You can go stick like that, uh, b-bone. Okay, so to change the size of the b-bone in edit mode, you go control alt s. And there you can see you can change the size of them. And then you also have envelope, which is just like this. And then you can also change the size with that with control s and then you also have wire so depending on which version uh which you want to use uh i personally prefer octahedral kind of like the default quite nice um but yeah so that's what i'm using so if you want to do it like that cool so to get into pose mode just press control tab on your keyboard you'll pop up with this and go to pose mode so now you can see if you select them they go blue and then you can also see this is yellow from where we added RK, which if you don't know, is just a different way of animating. So first I should explain what is FK and RFK. So FK is this. So say you want the arm to be positioned. So you want to do that, okay? So to make that in FK, you would have to go like this. So you rotate, rotate, and then rotate like that. Cool. So there you go. So that's how you do it in FK. So to do this in RK is you would just go like this. As you can see with the leg, so you can do like that. So instead of individually moving each bone, so I can show you here, if I remove the RK, then I have to rotate it like this. Okay. Whereas with RK, it follows the position of the bone. Okay. So that's a quick distinction between RK and FK. So let me remove my animating blender. You select a bone and then you can see either here, uh, well actually bone up here, or press N and go to item and you can see the rotation scale, whatever. So say you rotate like this, okay? And then you can select these three bones and then R and then location and rotation okay so you can just press location and rotation and then you can see here it creates a bunch of yellow dots and all those dots are keyframes for the bone so you can say it's at this frame make the position and rotation depending on what you've uh keyframes so you can see location rotation so keyframe the position of this bone and the rotation of this bone at this frame and then you can go scroll forward and then you can go rotate it like this and you can see it will change or change it to orange because it's not keyframed anymore because it was yellow rotate rotate so like this and then r location and rotation and there you go and you can see so we have two different keyframes at either side so we have hit one over here and we have one over here and you can see blender will automatically blend between them so you can just press t and then you have constant linear and bezier so bezier is what's by default so you can see it's kind of smooths in and then so smooths in and then smooth, like out so then you're going to do linear which obviously just moves linear like that at the same constant speed or constant which does not change and there so it has no smoothing in between the different points okay so we can leave it at bezier for now but yeah, so that's the basics of animation. And then now what I want, want to show you with dope sheets, the difference between the dope sheet and the, the normal timeline is with the dope sheet, you can see you can manage all the different uh, keyframes like this. Whereas if you're in the timeline, um, 
Okay. So in the dope sheet, the only difference is uh, that you can use like action editor or something. So here, if we do the action editor, you can make the same animation on one rig. So you can make all well, oh, different animations on one rig, and then you can cycle through them over here. So then you make this animation, then you can go make a new action, and you can see you can scroll through. So then this new action, you can see like there, and we have like there. And then if we save it like this, now you can see we have two different animations. So if you have one rig and you don't just like duplicate the rig or something to make each animation, then you can just use the action editor to make each rig. Um, and then dope sheet just adds like extra colors and stuff uh, compared to the, uh, do the, what's it? The timeline, which is just basic, but yeah. And yeah, that's basically not that many differences. And then you have more specific uh, animation pieces over here. Okay. So one thing in the timeline is with keying. So you can set the active keying set to something. So you could do location and rotation. That means by default, when you press R, you can you can see it says a location and rotation has been done. And then at the bottom, it says successfully added seven, uh, added keyframes to seven things, which is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Because rotation also has the, the, the W, whatever the frick it is, but yeah, no one cares. Uh, no one understands Quaternions. Um, but yeah, so that is how the basics of animation. So if you wanted to make a full animation of something, so let's go to the dope sheet editor and we go to action editor. We can remove this one and then we can go to meta rig uh, number one. Let's start, uh, let's start working on a simple animation. So say we do mean like a basic walk. So we can go to the first frame add a keyframe, but let's actually just move it. So we have like this. So we want to be on the, f on the ground. So select the pelvis bone, drag that down. And then we can go have it there and put the keyframe there. And then add a keyframe here. We are gonna be making a full wall cycle. I just wanna show you. So yeah, and then we can drag the feet inwards. G, put it like this. And there. so we can select both of these, press R, and it will automatically set to location and rotation. Okay. And then uh, we can go and set a, another frame. So we can go like for say 15 frames and then go do the same thing. What you can sometimes do is control shift, so copy and then control shift V and then paste it inverted. So now, the only way you can do this is if like all your rotations and stepping are correct on your bones. And also if you have the same naming convention on each side. So you can see here, I have tha.l and here I have tha.r. So it tells Blender which is the right side and which is the left. And then it can copy the, uh, and then flip it, the, the sides. So if I add a keyframe now, you can see, um, actually we just need a keyframe these two there. You can see automatically goes in between them. Okay. And then it autumn. So once we have it like this, then we can go to the graph editor. And if you, you can say normalize like that, so that just basically makes it bigger. And then you can see that we can have all these different uh, settings. So I'm just going to hide uh, the location. Wait, no, we need to keep the location and we can just hide the rotation. So I'm just drag holding. So like that. Okay, so let's take this one bone, and then you can see this is the Z, and that's the X, and then that's the Y curve. So that's the three different curves that we can change. So um, if you want to change the, the curve of it, so it's just a normal Bezier curve. So say you could want to just, uh, let's just drag this up further. I'll drag my camera up. Okay, so if you want to, uh, just go like this so you can drag this out and then maybe even do like a bump and you can see we go to front view uh probably not the best oh yeah so you can see 
it's not the best with such a short animation, but here, so you can see that that's the curve of the animation. So you can see it goes backwards and then pops back, so like that, which is the same thing, the curve, like that. Yo guys, I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial on how to make animations in Blender. So stay tuned for the next video, which should be on how to make a walk cycle inside of Blender. So that's the end screen. Make sure to subscribe so you won't miss that video. Enjoy.